Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So today I would like to continue with the second episode of the Legacy of the First Blade DLC. And for that purpose I have already finished a few things here in Macedonia. Um, first of all I picked up the treasures on the islands um, from that little side quest. It was more random stuff, some money, so nothing too special. Um, I finished like the side quest with the wolves, which was literally just to kill a bunch of wolves and that was it. And then I went on to hunt a few more ancients. Um, I mean two of them already were uncovered, Conon and Akantha, so that wasn't a problem. This one however was still hidden and I didn't actually get a new clue on the whereabouts of this guy after I killed the other two. So instead um, I had a look at the um, quests that were still available and I continued with one of them and that actually gave me uh, the final clue for the final ancient so um, I killed him as well. Which means um, at least this branch of the order is eliminated but I suspect there's going to be more on the other sides as well. But yeah, um, I guess for now we will leave um, this place. There's like one more side quest that I haven't done yet, which I may or may not do at some other point. We will see about that. But for now, um, I guess I'll just um, travel to my ship because um, that's where my next quest is going to be. I mean, I could also call her over to my location, but... But I might have to go to some other place afterwards anyway. Find me, Eagle Bearer. We parted ways after some dire events and the effects linger even as we continue to move. Look above when you are in a western village in Achaia. You'll find me there. Okay, so I have to go to a different place. Find and talk to the contact. The contact mentioned he would be waiting in Achaia. He's waiting at a vantage point in a small town in the western Istian Valley. Okay, I mean that is pretty far away, so I think I'm going to fast travel there. Um, western Istian Valley. I mean we have like a small town over here. This has got to be it, right? So let me travel to this viewpoint and we will try to... Uh, find that mysterious contact. I can close this little pop up, <laughs> and now let's see what we can find. There he is. Well, I totally didn't see you. I guess I should have uh, just stayed up there. <laughs> of course, I guess uh, the note was um, a hint. I had to look above me, so I guess I should have expected him to be up here. <laughs> Right, let's talk. Darius, do you ever rest? Ha! <laughs> after Macedonia, after the Huntsman, nowhere in the Greek world will ever be safe. Not for us. We can never rest. We can never stop running. You'll never get caught if you keep moving. You'll never find peace if you keep moving. <laughs> well, both of it is true. The Order have your scent, and mine. If you stay still for too long... Natakas dies. All we can do is keep moving. Even if all I want is to stay. I don't see Natakas. That's why I sent the note. Trouble? We came to Achaea seeking a ship bound for distant shores. A simple plan, but like so many simple plans... It got complicated. That fleet is bound for Patre. It's not the first. Something there is not right. Relentless military patrols, 
Naval blockades. Natakas went to secure us a boat out, but he hasn't returned. I see. Um, well, any idea what happened to him? You must have some idea about what happened to Natakas. He's smart. Knows to keep to the shadows. With this much military power stationed in Achea, he's more likely hiding then. He's Dead? out there, Darius. <laughs> um, I guess I will have a look for him. So, any any uh, reason why you're trying to get to Patrai? What do you think is going on here? Something big. Natakas may have learned more about what's happening there. It could be the ore there. All the more reason to find him. Okay, I guess I'll uh, go and look for him. Natakas won't be hard to find. He took that road to Patre. Then that's where we start. Follow me. Ooh. <laughs> I've done it from higher. Hey! I hey, you! certainly did. You on the roof! Yes? That's not your roof! <laughs> You're right. You're right, it's it's not my roof. <laughs> yes, um you should always put stacks of hay <laughs> next to roofs. That would be very considerate. Something happened to Natakas between here and Patre. We must find him. We will, Darius. We will. Patre! All right, um, I guess I'm just going to follow him for now. After Macedonia, but before Achaea, what were you and Atakas doing? Surviving. Hmm? Mm. Sounds boring. You were hoping I would entertain you with grand tales from my legendary adventures? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. We've kept to the shadows, stayed away from people. Doll is safe with someone. Adventure is not. Darius is really ah, like and the committed to hit every person we see on the road, so. Huh? Okay, so now I have to look around. Investigate the area for Nataka's trail. Which direction did Natakas go? Well, let's find out. Okay, we have some blood here. This doesn't bode well. <sighs> Heavy armor and blood, but no body. Natakas must have been in a hurry to leave such a mess. <laughs> but I mean, he apparently removed the body. And what we got here? Some weapons? These weapons belong to a soldier, not Natakas. Keep looking. Okay, so clearly there has been a fight going on here. And we need like one more clue. Okay, here we go. There is, there is no sign of Natakas. Just supplies and military equipment. He's staying out of sight. <laughs> Good. Sana, over here. Well, let's hope it's just that, that he's hiding really, really well. A path leading up to the mountains. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. How are you yes. so sure Natakas went this way? Sometimes you have to look further and think harder. <laughs> there were guards at the bridge. Didn't you see? It was too exposed. Natakas would do better. Come on. Well, I guess I'm going to trust you on this. You know your son better than I do. Move. So hopefully you're right about this and he's just like very smart and stealthy. <laughs> um, are you like an enemy? I yes, of course you are. <laughs> Working on it! <laughs> but it doesn't seem that I really have to fight them. Don't need them. to outrun them. Violence. Stop right there. <laughs> I'll catch you yet. This was a bad idea, friend. You're in the way. 
of course, they also have horses, so it's kind of hard to outrun them. But it looks like we might be successful. Nope, they're still following us. <laughs> so we may have to end up fighting them one way or the other. Are you, are you going to come here? Maybe not. Oh, let's talk. They're searching for something. Look at their body language. They want blood. <laughs> They'll get it. We need a plan. If Natakas is hiding here, he could be drawn into heavy battle. Okay, so I guess your plan is to be stealthy. I, I can I can work with that. If we move quietly, we can pick off the guards one by one. A wise plan, Eagle Bearer. I would like to think so. <laughs> Clear the perimeter quietly. Of course, the question is: um, Are these people going to be a problem? <laughs> I mean. He's close enough for an assassination. Well, he kind of survived this one. <laughs> oh, well, um... But not this one. That was an interesting move. Okay, but... Yeah, these are... These are the people that we actually have to take down. Quietly, Eagle Bear. You take that one. Yeah, I guess I'll go for the assassinations here because they're more likely to actually kill. Well, you killed this guy, but his body didn't vanish. You didn't properly invest in your skill tree to get that particular skill that's hiding the bodies. Um, so maybe I will remedy that. Okay, um, I can probably let this guy over here. Also, I can probably just knock out this guy. Yeah, but this is another case where I have to, I have to uh, kill, kill them or the quest won't update. Um, well, I guess I'll do it with a an arrow. Let's use like a normal arrow. There we go. Okay, so um, non-lethal approach doesn't work. I I have to kill them. Um. I mean, they seem to be distracted enough that I might be able to sneak up on this one, undetected. There we go. And one more guy over here. Natakas, he should be around here. There we go. I hope that was stealthy enough. I mean, that looked like was Natakas. Natakas. Cassandra. Yep. Told you we'd meet again. Trust me, I said. It must be hard for you being right all the time. It's a burden I do my best to bear. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you, Cassandra. I came because Darius asked. I came for you. Well, um, at the moment I actually did come for you because apparently you went missing and we were kind of worried about you. And I'm glad to see you. When I heard you might be in trouble... You jumped on your horse and raced <laughs> to the rescue? I'm not sure you needed rescuing. Still. So Marcia. who's your new friend here, Natakas? <clears throat> There's something else. We need to find my mother. There are still people who need our help. People who have been stranded in Archea. The soldiers took them to a fort, not far from here. Okay, they have been abducting people. Why? 
<laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. I, I guess I will check it out. I'll go there now. More soldiers could come looking. If we leave the bodies out here, it may attract unwanted attention. I'll gather the others while you hide the bodies. Hm. I've already taken the care of that. The stranded people are at the fort, on top of the cliff. Return safely. Bring my mother back to me, please! I should go to the fort. Right. Open your map and find your objective. Well, suddenly... Suddenly the body is back again. That, that isn't my work, though. I properly disposed of all the bodies. But okay, um, let's have a look at the map. Uh, find and free the stranded people. Um, they are held within the center of Erimantos peaks in a higher. They are being held in the Tejos of Heracles. Okay. Um, I guess this is like another side mission. Um, well, it's gotta be somewhere around here, right? Erimantos peaks. So, this is pretty much the center, so I guess I'm just going to travel here and then hopefully we can send out Icaros to find them. Um, well, I, I didn't expect this kind of greeting, but okay. <laughs> I suppose I need to start taking down these stupid wolves first. That's a lot of them too. I think this is not the first time I fought them because they're always loitering around this particular area. Right. Two more left. And no, actually there's there's another one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these can hurt you surprisingly much. Okay, now it's just one left. There we go. Let's grab all the fur. And yeah, apparently I can't I can't really send out Ikoros just yet, so it's still a little bit too far away. The Tejos of Heracles. I mean this doesn't seem to be any landmark that I've already uncovered. So I guess I will just look around a little bit in this particular... Oh, there's actually an undiscovered location over here. Um, but yeah, I will I will look around a little bit in, in this area and hopefully I will be able to find this place. It's not really... It's not really specific. I mean the center of Erimantas Peaks. So it's gotta be somewhere around here, right? That That's kind of the center. I suppose so yeah i will i will go and look for this place and um, i'll bring you back once i found something <sighs> all right uh looks like i found the location it is i see that on top of this hill um, let me have a look at the map again. Oh yeah, it's actually it's actually named Tejos of Her Heracles, but uh, the quest marker was on top of it, so I didn't properly see it. And yeah, I remember this place. This used to be a cultist hideout, pretty big one too. So apparently, it is now taken over by the Order. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, let's get a little bit closer and let's see what we can do here. I mean, if I have to free the prisoners, the question is, should I like try to take out all the guards first? 
I mean, sometimes the prisoners just run away and they're fine, but sometimes they just cause a lot of a commotion while they're doing that. But yeah, um, I I remember this place. I already cleaned this out once. Um, but I suppose I will just try to go for the prisoners and free them silently without taking down like every every single guard in this place. And I hope that's going to work. All right. Find and free the stranded people. So why have they been stranded here? And why has the order got to be careful not to get the cult uh, captured them? Let's maybe infiltrate over here. By the way, does this place have like signal fire that I want to disable? I don't remember seeing one. Nope. Doesn't seem to be one. Okay, um we have some prisoners over here. Are there any that are a little bit closer? Yep, there's like one, one over here as well. Um, okay, I guess uh, we're going to start with this one. We may need to take out this cultist. Yeah, I mean, they're clearly cultists, so I suppose the order and the cult are working together on this, huh? Um, seem to be fairly safe here. Okay. Now I hope I can just free this lady and she will be fine. I mean, some people certainly aren't. I hope... Her child is down the mountain with the others. Go! Thank you. Okay, so she's actually the, the mother of the child that we talked to. Okay, but apparently she's on her way. And we can continue. Um, I see like another guard standing over here. This might be an easy opportunity to uh, get rid of another one. Here we go. Okay, it looks like all the other prisoners are on the other side of the temple. Yeah, I can see one over here. Let's go for this one next. Oh, well, um, don't set yourself on fire here. Okay, um, there's at least two cultists in the vicinity, but one is walking away. So this might be an opportunity for me. Oh, don't go down all the way, please. Alright, maybe I should have waited and Listen to them because it seems that they were Get talking the about the me. Mountain. There's people there. I miss this. Thank you. But I mean, I'm already aware of the fact that they're looking for me, so not sure if they really had any new information for me. Um. 
Okay, the other two are down here. Um, let me find a good, good angle uh, for for this infiltration. Of course, we have like two cultists over here. Makes it a bit more difficult. Um, well, one of them might be leaving. Well, both of them might be leaving. And maybe I can draw one of them over here. Huh? What was that noise? Okay. You are dead. And this should be my chance to free the other two. Run! The others are down the mountain. Oh, thank Zeus! And you! <laughs> yeah, I think Zeus has less to do with that than uh, I have. Okay, um, we freed the prisoners. Apparently they can make it out on their own. So let me just quickly escape and um, go back to meet Nataka. So he's apparently uh, near the fort already. So yeah, that was a pretty um, smooth and quick prison break, I suppose. <laughs> too long. The order will catch up with us soon. People need our help. Okay, well, we have three prisoners here. What about your mother? Did she make it back? Mother! My okay, child, there she is. You're safe. Thanks, Zeus. <laughs> Cassandra, you're back. You're the Mystios who saved us. Thank you. I'm Kleta. I'm sheltering the stranded in Vura, a village not far from here. I've been in Achea for a long time, but something has changed. A dangerous presence is closing in. What do you know? Everyone in Achea knows the Tempest. She's the most Tempest. ruthless commander to ever sail the Aeon. Okay. No one's faced her and lived. And her rage. Poseidon himself fears her. I house those who can't escape the Tempest's wrath in my village. But I can't stay here forever. The harbor is closed. Soldiers are combing the area looking. I'm working on a plan to get them out of Achaea. If you can help, Mistios, come find me in Vura. I can probably help you with that. She knows more than she's saying. It doesn't matter. The order is here. Amorgus and the rest will not forgive our actions in Macedonia. Amorgus will not forget the huntsman's death at the hand of a tainted one. Huh? His cunning is sharper than any blade. He may already be here, observing us, learning from our movements, from our choices, discovering our weaknesses. The stranded people come from both foreign lands and all over the Greek world. Merchants, farmers, sailors, families. They're being imprisoned and interrogated. They're being asked about Macedonia. These people are suffering because the Order is looking for us. These people need our help. We have to do something. Isn't this what we're fighting for? Aren't they worth the risk? We can't save them. Not if Nataka the Tempest is still yeah. strong. We need to hit her hard. It's the only way to get the stranded people home. Well, I mean, that seems reasonable enough. If we take care of the Tempest and the Order, the people will be... Safe. We should get started. Safer anyway. Um, okay, so what exactly is your plan, Atakas? Where will you start? 
Hatre is overflowing with the Tempest forces. I'll look for leads there about the closed harbor, and maybe more about the Tempest herself. Okay, sounds good. And what do you think about Cleta's plan? That woman, Cleta. There's more to the Tempest tale than she's telling, but she needs help. The people in Bura need help. They could do with someone like you. Then I'll pay her a visit. All right, fair enough. And what is Darius doing? Your father sure knows how to make an exit. Where did he go? <laughs> He's been following up on some leads in Patre. Look for him in the hull of a ship near the Patre Harbor. He's made a small hideout there. Okay, um, fair enough. So I guess that's all I need for the time being. Now let's work on uh, defeating the Tempest. Against the three of us? The Tempest doesn't stand a chance. We'll break her? And then you'll be free to leave the Greek world <laughs> forever. I'll go to the harbor and track down the Tempest. She can't be the only Order member in Achaea. I'll keep an eye out for the others. See you soon, Cassandra. Yeah, no. I don't know. I think there's going to be more episodes after that, so... Defeating the Tempest is probably not going to be the end of it. Episode 2, Shadow Heritage. I could find Tharius and attack us in Padre, or I could look for Kleta in Bura. Well, decisions, decisions, huh? Okay, multiple quests accepted. So again, I have a bunch of support quests and they will lead to the next main mission. Of course, maybe I should have um, picked up that side mission while I was in the fort. I mean, not sure if I actually want to do it, but it might have been useful to at least pick it up. But I can still do that later if I want to. Uh, for now, let's look at the new quest that I got. Persian puppetry. Okay, this is Natakas. Prodigal, talk to Klita and Bura. And theatrics and espionage. Meet Darius in Patre. Um, I guess I'm going to start with this, this one because it's the closest and seems to be the most important at the moment. You know, helping the people. That are stranded and yep here we go we already have um, new ancients to kill let's just unveil them right away the oceans are as wide as the world but I've yet to find my equal upon them Nestor the formidable wind stinging his face and sword white on his beard Nestor shouted his jubilation into the storm another vanquished opponent tipped and sank beneath the dark again waves Nestor had burned his youth marauding across the oceans for Greece, but of Greece, but with each victory he felt less. Then the Tempest spoke to him of the glory of Greek warships and the Order's plans. He was perhaps the easiest convert. Okay. And who was this one? Sophos, the broker. What is life if you can't have the best? And be the best. Hmm? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. The Rachme was power. To Sophos, the truth was as obvious as the sun. The rich ruled, not emperors. Kings and paupers were all equally held to Drachme's necessity. The Order understood this, which is why the Tempest had come to him. He saw his, she saw his wealth and his gift for acquiring it. Sophos knew the Order was using him. What he thought they didn't know was that he was using them. Well, I guess at least he thinks so. Whether that's actually true is a different question. Um, okay, so apparently we only have four ancients and one Magi here. The Magi is known as the Tempest. Okay, so yeah, more more ancients for me to kill. And I'm guessing there's going to be another branch here and another one here. And in the center there's going to be, what was his name? Amorges, probably. Um, okay, let's let's continue. We have a bit of time left in this episode, so I may want to uh, check out the next quest. Okay, it's um, the little town over here. Let's go back to the fast travel spot. I hope the wolves haven't respawned already. 
<laughs> well, they totally have, but in this case, I don't care about them. I'm just going to jump down here. I wonder what happened to these people. I mean, it almost looks like they tried to jump down and miss the haystack. Then again, um, they may be connected to these carts. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, let's uh, go and find Kalita and uh, let's see if she's actually hiding something. I'm not entirely sure why Cassandra would think that, but I'm going to trust her instincts on this one, I suppose. Pandy, yeah. we're dying some cloth here? Oh, this is like a small um, alleyway. Purple. And these are like the, the, the she cells and they're extracting the purple from it. Miss Theos, you came. Thanks to you, these people are safe. Call me Cassandra. Looks like the stranded people are settling in well. Resources are scarce, but we make do with what we have. These people have nowhere to go. Maroon, alone, far from home. I try to provide them a little bit of comfort. It's normal to be uncomfortable. Better even. That's a principle of Spartan training. <laughs> it's how they become such fierce warriors. Indeed. You remind me of my daughter. She was always aspiring to be better, to be great. <laughs> Is your daughter the Tempest by any chance? Is that the secret you're hiding? <laughs> I don't know. This is just a shot in the dark, but why would she suddenly bring up her daughter? I am great. <laughs> um, but I do have my flaws as well. We all have things about ourselves that could be improved. These people will have to be their best selves if they're going to escape the Tempest. Her forces are monitoring the ships in and out of Achaea, and their control over the island is growing stronger every day. We need to get them out of here. Will you help me, Cassandra? Yes, I will help you and the stranded people. I'll help. What do I need to do? Leaving Achaea is not going to be easy. But I've spoken to a few of the stranded and we've come up with a plan. Find Dorondas. He's overlooking the fields. He'll have more information about this. Okay. Why can't you give me that information? Talk to Orontas about his situation. Sure, let's do it. Um I'm going to ignore all the dying business over here. Home. Soon, darling. Soon. Yeah, there seem to be a lot of stranded people. I'm still not entirely sure where they all come from, but somehow they all ended up here. Anyway, away. you are Orontas? Ah, a mystios. <laughs> Tell me, is there anything more beautiful than this? The calm, the peace, the comfort of a simple life. I long for a simple life. I don't do simple. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe at some point in the distant uh, future we can settle for a simple life. But for now, um, I think a little bit of adventure um, is, is definitely um, not unwelcome. The life of a mercenary is the life I want to live. I like to keep busy. Right. In that case, welcome to Vora. What brings you to Achaea? I've traveled across many seas, Mistyas. The blockade paused my journey as a merchant, but... Kleta gave me a place to stay. When you've been through as much as I have... When you've weathered the most... Horrific and turbulent storms. You start to appreciate the simple joys in life. 
like Vora, a place I could call home. I fear these quiet times won't last. Okay, so why do you think that? Treasure this peace while you can learn to live in chaos. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a pessimistic outlook. All peace is hard earned. It should be treasured. My sentiments exactly. Cleta sent me to you. She said you lost your ships. Indeed. We are in troubling times, Mistyos. Achea is growing more dangerous by the day. And we need to escape while we can. I've discussed the plan at length with Cleta. Keep and... looking! Guards. <laughs> oh no. They've upped their patrols. I caught their attention at the fort. They're looking for more stranded. We mustn't let them disrupt our peace, Mistyos. Deal with them quietly if you can. I'll get Cleta and the rest to higher ground. I'm pretty sure I didn't caught anyone's attention at the fort. No one saw me and survived. But okay, apparently I have to deal with these soldiers now. Another one. Let's do it. All right. Are you going to attack me? <laughs> and I mean, typically, all the enemies that have like their little golden triangle on top of their heads um, are enemies that I can't just take down and recruit, but I have to kill them. So. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. Got another one over here. And now we just have two smaller guys. <laughs> so why didn't I get any kind of um, bounty for any of these, for example? I'm still not entirely sure about the logic of, of the murder bounties. Anyway, that's gotta be the last one. Okay. Seems to be all the soldiers for now. Oh no, um, there's more over here. I see more golden triangles. <laughs> More guards on horseback. Yeah, I mean these are not just guards; they're cultists. <laughs> At least some of them are. Okay, Icaros is keeping the other guy busy for the time being, so I can focus on this one. was a bit of an overkill again, Cassandra. <laughs> right. um, are you going to be the last one or are there going to be more? Yeah, you can pose all you want. My hero strike is going to take you down one way or the other. Okay, apparently that's all of them. Now Let's return to Orontas. You are not where I left you. What are you doing here? Mistyas, you prevailed. Thank you, Cassandra. I... I knew they were on the move, but I didn't think it would be so soon. We need to set our plan in motion. Tell me what needs to be done. We need a mode of transport across the Aegean. The ships we came in were taken when we arrived in Vora by the foreman of the docks. Perhaps we can strike a deal with the foreman to get them mm -hmm. back? Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Um, I can help you with that. I have the time to help you now. 
In that case, we should bring you up to speed on the foreman situation. I'm listening. He's quite a character. I've heard rumors that he frequents a tavern in Bellini and drinks as if to endlessly worship <laughs> Dionysos. Word is, he doesn't take well to mercenaries. Okay. I can get people to like me. <laughs> I'm sure you have your ways, Mistyas. Okay, so am I supposed to talk to him? Kill him? Seduce him? You're being very vague. But okay, I guess I will I will find out how to deal with him. My daughter. She always loved mm -hmm. the water. As a girl, she always wanted to steer when we rode out to sea. As she got older... I've never stopped wondering if she will come back to me. Yeah, calling it now the Tempest is her daughter, right? <laughs> Tell me more about her. Tell me more about your daughter. As a child, she was unusually strong. People would say her goals and ambitions soared far beyond the norm. Her strength wasn't the only thing. <laughs> her temper matched that of Poseidon in a storm. You mean like a tempest? <laughs> so where is she now? Do you have any idea where your daughter went? She left without a word. Every day I yearned for her return. I sometimes think I've lost her for good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure she knows that the Tempest is her daughter as well. I mean, she talks about like she left to some place, but you know, returning to her for good could also be like uh, meaning that she wants her to leave the order behind and return to her, so I'm, I'm guessing that's what she means. Um, yeah, there's something you're not telling me. Like, for example, the fact that the Tempest is probably your daughter? There must be a reason why you're telling me about your daughter. Yep. My Phila. She captains the Skilla now. Your daughter is the Tempest? There it's we been go. years since I've heard from her. I, I, I pushed her too much, too far. And now it feels like I've pushed her away forever. Well, at least they're not trying to hide it any longer. I mean, it seemed fairly obvious already, so at this point, trying to deny it seems kind of pointless. Um, you need to let go of your daughter. You need to hold on to hope. I mean, as someone with a brother who used to be in, in the Order or in the cult, I guess she can at least kind of understand what uh, she's going through. She's an adult now. She makes her own choices. Don't blame yourself. Now isn't the time to dwell on the past. Orondas needs our help. I'll go to Bellini and make myself useful. Here, Cassandra. Right, and I will take care of the foreman, I suppose. I should get to Bellini. The warship, ancient clue, okay. So... We got another clue about the Tempest. Of course, we already know um, who she is, the Magi Captain Siskela. But I guess we need to find out where to look for her. Um, yeah, I guess I will end the episode here. And again, I will just take care of the Ancients off camera, the normal ones, because um, I already know where they are. And I just have to go in and hero strike them. That usually takes care of them. And um, then we can continue with the next part of this quest, which is to talk to the foreman and see if we can get a ship from him. But yeah, um, I guess this is um, enough for today. So as always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.